Hello, my lovely viewers, it's Sarah behind the scene. So today I'm gonna make simply easily delicious red snapper with tomato ketchup. So stay tuned for the full process. So Thank I have you. the fish here, red snapper. I already uh, marinated with the salt and pepper, so I'm gonna fry it. Okay. Look at that. Now I'm ready for the oil in there. So I'm frying the shallots and garlic. Just cross it and slice it a little like that. Ini bawang putih, bawang merah ya. Mau digeprek terus dicincang dikit kayak gitu. Smells good now. So this is uh, tomatoes. I just blended them. Ini tomat yang sudah di blender ya, bun. It's really easy. And here I have the leftover tomato ketchup my homemade with all the ingredients which is basil oregano rosemary and garlics onion and vinegar and all the kind of flavors the herbs flavors in so this is my homemade i'm gonna paste the link below how i made it jadi ini sos tomat buatan aku ya ini aku pakai rosemary, oregano, kemangi kering, bawang merah, bawang putih, banyak. Nanti saya kasih linknya di bawah ya, biar tahu cara buatnya. Jadi lebih sehat kan buat sendiri, tidak ada gula, tidak ada pengawet. Alright, I was saying that it's a healthier, homemade because I don't add sugar and no... Um, any other ingredients that harm your body <laughs> so it's super healthy okay now let's pour in the last drop all right now i'm gonna put some uh, dried basil leaves there's the uh, this is the best leaf from my uh, garden, so it dries up. So I'm gonna put it in. It's much more stronger. Jadi ini kemangi kering ya dari kebun aku, tapi dikeringin. Alright, so just stir a little like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm uh, adding that pepper, lada, coriander powder, ketumbar, so well, uh, I would love to have much more coriander powder in so you can add coriander powder as much as you like because it's no harm. <laughs> 
but if you add too much pepper it's gonna be spicy hot and I don't really like it I'd rather have a spiciness from the chili than from the pepper so it's just make it enough all right but about the coriander powder you can add as much as you love all right now let's add a pinch of salt with love not too much because I already rub a little salt on the fish so you don't want it to be salty now I'm adding Worcester sauce ketchup ingris just drop not too much and uh, a little sweet soy sauce ketchup manis not too much because besides I don't like sweet I uh, don't really like the color to ruin my uh, redness from the tomatoes so just a drop alright so I think everything is uh, well mixed now I think mm, smells so good mm. Mmm, it's really juicy drooling. <laughs> now let's add it. So as simple as that, ladies. As simple as that. Mmm, beautiful. Look at that it's beautifully presented and besides it's pretty easy isn't it you can make it at home in quickie no time then you can just do this simply easily delicious so the tomato ketchup it's my homemade so i'm gonna paste the link below pretty easy as well and also the first tomatoes i just blend it smoothly and stir fry it just like what you saw in the beginning now leave the thick meat mm, look at that everything absorbing the tomato ketchup and all the seasonings mm, i just can't wait to dig in mm, look at that Alright, thank you for watching from the beginning till the end. And make sure if you try this simply, easily, delicious fish recipe at home, please come back to let me know how it tastes like. And I promise you, you won't fail. Stay healthy and stay around for more videos. I love you all. Take care and see you around.